Uh, I'm still riding this high a little bit. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. All right, so, as I was saying before I got, uh, shall we say, distracted, it is time for us to consider making us some upper tier tools with a tool forge, now that we have a blacksmith's workshop to make one, as well as an armor forge. Yes, it's basically the same recipe, just using the different station as the core of it. So let's, in fact, put those on our recipe list. Always forget to click off. Now, for that, we're going to need some blocks of metal. So let's just head back to our mining target. I happen to know that there's still some more resources on those. I was a little bit silly last time going to a platform for blocks of iron. Yeah, there is still more to the mining target than meets the eye. And I just forgot about it for a little while. So, let us just get something with which... Uh, yeah, I, I think I should just clear out the entire layer of what I'm about to be looking at. Get us enough to last for a little while. Alright, so, not this level, but the next level up. Yeah, see this? Oops. Well, it's fine, I'll just climb on up the old-fashioned way. There we go. Yes, see all these lovely little plate-looking things? Those are blocks of iron. They're just decorated. And... Even though... Yep, they'll, they'll still melt. Even if they didn't, we could just chisel them. That's all they are, is they're just a chiseled block of iron. In any case, let's go and clear out this entire bit of siding, at least until we have a stack or so's worth. Just so that we have a nice supply moving forward. And we can start piling that up in our chisel. Yeah, we ain't going to be running out of iron anytime soon. And even if we manage to exhaust this supply, there are still more ships around. And even past then, we're shortly going to be doing trips deeper into the abyss where we can get even more. So iron won't be in short supply. Really, I think it's going to be copper that we're going to crunch on. Sure, I'll take this. I've been ignoring these chests mostly, just until I, again, do the big teardown of this entire ship. But needs must from time to time. Just get a nice pile going. Okay, so three more. That'll do her. And you know what, let's get us the proper classic block with one extra friend, because why not? Yep. Don't believe that I forgot about that iron sighting on those things. Ah, what's my brain coming to? Big pile of derp, like it always has been. It's probably time to cycle the charcoal, because it's always time to cycle the charcoal. Let's just... Where did it go? It went there. Must be more careful about that. And in you go. That'll last us a good while. Why not? Actually, is platinum useful for any tools? I don't think it is, no. It doesn't look like it's on any Tinker's Tools. All right. And that's unfamiliar, but it will be coming familiar a bit in, in just a little bit. I think Gears will become familiar to us in the very next age, which we're kind of... we're on the border of, really. <clears throat> in any case, I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. I'm also going to need to cook up some seared stone. Yes. Alright. 
I guess I shouldn't have grabbed the iron preemptively. Let's just let's just make us a nice pile of it. Uh, and yes, the smeltery is all poured out. We have more than a stack's worth of tool rods. That is just a beautiful, beautiful thing. I should also make a hopper for this side. Yeah, I should. Alright, let's do that real quick. Sorry for getting distracted by a million billion things. Let's also get rid of those bronze coins. Just to get them out of our hair. So, that is going to require two of these, no, four of those. I need to make more glue. That's what I need to do first. Alright, well, let's make more glue. Easy enough to do. Let's make a nice big batch of it. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Because of me being impatient and making chests A, before I can more easily produce them, and B, like, instead of just hunting them down. Yeah, I'm, g I'm running through glue right now. No reason I can't get these melting, though, in the meantime. And also, just get everything completely set up. Let's move these tables. Let's move them over, yeah. Part builder there. And then tool station. Armor station. Chost. Yep, that looks like everything's back in its place. Excellent. And now the smelter has a bit more room for convenience. There we go. And let's just get some pulp cooking, because I'm going to need that too. It is so lovely having so much processing for everything. And we're also going to need to get some refractory clay going in. We're out of limestone, of course. I don't know what I was expecting. Let's go to the old Sunwell mine, see what we can find. Should be some seams of limestone in there. And there's one. And now this is... Yeah, before this was just dropping pebbles, but now it's dropping whole, like it should with Silk Touch. I really don't know what's going on there. Maybe Silk Touch... Well, no. Because last time when I was uh, making the pebbles for the grout, that was after a boot, wasn't it? Yeah, that was after I rebooted the game, I think. So it's not that the game is booted since then. Is this working now? Yeah, it is. I don't know. The behavior of Silk Touch has just changed randomly. In any case, this at least has always been consistent in its behavior. And yes, we still can't we still can't get smooth stone. That's still pebbles as as uh, Pyrotech would demand. But it seems that all cobblestones are now ours to move about as we will. And I have no idea what's up with that. How about ores? No, ores are still behaving. As one would expect. Just plain bizarre. In any case, that's 
probably enough limestone to last for a little while. Let's not do any big digs until I bring down like a stack of uh, a stack of fence posts along with the usual torches so that I can start creating stabilization down there. I don't think I'll ever really go mining for raw resources anyway. It'll mostly be for the sake of... There have been monsters popping up in that area. Like around there and like around there. Every time I let it become night. Is something up? Is there... Turn F7 mode on. Is that just because the Sunwell is down there? Hmm. I don't think I've missed any spots. Oh, the roofs. The roofs of the merchant stalls. That would do it. Yes. I probably need to check the roofs of all the buildings. Not gonna say no to some rotten flesh. We do need it to make pig iron. And I think we are eventually gonna need to make more pig iron. Let's just pillar up. Really need to make myself a sword to deal with with cobwebs. Oh well. There. So the world should be a little bit safer. Just a modicum. And I'll have to go through the Norman village as well. Make sure that there's no griblies in there. And I suppose we'll see if any more evil red dots start popping up in those areas the next time I inevitably miss the sun setting. And there. Yes, keep it's just a one type of limestone. That seems reasonable. Why not? Let's do another stack of pulp. Just to have it on hand. And I suppose if I'm making 32 glue, then I'm going to need two stacks of pulp anyway. Yeah, I would need two stacks of pulp and two stacks of uh, refractory clay balls. Which, thankfully, is what our recipe should get us quite easily. It don't matter if we lose a few quicklime. The ratio is very forgiving that way. Hmm. Shouldn't we got more than that? Oh, I didn't quicken both stacks. Derp. Silly me. And yes, I do need to start thinking of setting up walls around the compound so that these NPCs stop uh, being overly friendly. I guess some monsters force him to wander closer by. There, that looks more like an amount that I'm used to. And unfortunately, we don't have quite enough flint clay. Do I have any? Yes, I do. And as always, get some more cooking of that, too. Kind of just get all the machines processing down the chain.
and keep that chain a flowing. Oops. There, that's better. And just like so. Good. And don't forget the hammer. And then I should be able to make glue. Excellent. With quite a lot of leftover clay lumps. Let's just turn half of them into balls since I think I have a half stack in storage. Yep. And we have some spares. Lovely. And now we have a nice pile of glue to make our chests. So I'm going to need four of those, one of those, eight of those. Makes a chest. And remind me, two of those, one more glue, and five wood. to make a wooden hopper. Yes, when you have everything lined up, it doesn't take too long. It's just kind of a matter of having enough of the materials on hand. Oh, this is a completely wrong place. A derp. That was silly of me. There we go. And now, if my seared stone is done, then I should be able to a dupe. And yes, notice that, well, that wouldn't be compatible with seared stone anyway, but if I were to put an ingot cast in there, yeah, only the side with the torch is pouring. Excellent, that's exactly what I want. All right, so with those three stone, I can then take, let's start with the tools. And I can go over here and I don't have four iron blocks on me. Easy fix, and it looked like I could be using chisel. It, it doesn't matter. And there we go, a tool forge. Now the difference between this and the tool station, more options. Hammers, excavators, lumber axes, very useful. Scythes, oh, so many new tools for us to try. And now just gonna do the same dang thing with the armor station. I'm not quite sure what the difference is with the armor station. I think that maybe without the armor station you can't do um, the Tinker's armor modifiers, maybe? Regardless, it's relatively cheap. So there's really no reason not to. And now we have a bit of a task ahead of us. It is time. I'm going to get myself a shelf to keep that torch on when it's not in use. It is currently in use, though, but not for much longer. Yes, it is time to start creating some more. Uh, let's keep the let's keep the aluminum bronze and let's just use gold for cast because gold is relatively plentiful. It is time to start making some more casts of something new because it is time to make us a batch of tinker armor. So we're going to need four patterns. Well, no, we're going to need six patterns in total. In fact, why not? Let's make casts of all of them. No reason not to. Yes, I'm gonna need the armor, co the helmet core, the chest core, leg core, and boot core. I'm also gonna need armor plates and armor trim. 
And those parts are all the parts to create an entire set of Tinker's Armor. Now, like any Tinker's part, any Tinker's tool, the armor is made in three sections. Well, it's made piecemeal, and each armor piece uses three sections. It uses a core, a plate, and a trim. The best core material I've found so far that I have available to me right now is prismarine. So, make a prismarine core. Legging. Boots. And I don't have enough prismarine. Easy enough fix. Let's also cycle the day. I should be visiting the merchants and see if they have a, uh, a certain special amulet. Yeah. The, uh, the merchants that the Millionaire Village have spawned, they will occasionally have a certain super special merchant. Nourishment, nourishment, arms. Nah. We're looking for the uh, the foreigner. I, I forget what he's called, but he's like a Viking dude. And he has a certain amulet that will help us out tremendously. So I just need to remember to, every time I cycle the day and night, I need to remember to go and check the merchants and see if he's shown up. Because I think these merchants are randomized day by day. Oof, our pollution cloud is getting huge. Need to deal with that soon. Can't deal with that till next age. Unfortunate. In any case, let's just... Let's not bother going to the abyss. Let's just swim around real quick and let's find us a piece of prismarine. Just out on the seabed. They aren't that rare. Maybe we'll find us some sponges, too. I'd like to replace my shovels to a rod, I think. Because Sponge is, in fact, the best tool rod I have available to me, available to me right now. And I'm curious, since Silk Touch is erratically behaving itself, maybe, maybe if I have a Silk Touch shovel I can dig up dirt. And actually get dirt instead of, you know, clumps. Let's just put that away, just so that we don't have our view zoomed in. Let's... lovely. Big lumps of prismarine for us to enjoy. Always excellent. Yes, get a nice collection of that going. Eh, I'll leave those be. I've got enough. the dang island. It is southwest. Ah, yes, I should have just looked around and seen that. Oh well. But yes, prismarine armor cores. If I remember to take it out of my chisel. There we go. Yes, these things have 18 defense compared to, say, steel, which has, uh, well, 18.4, 18.8. It's slightly better. And I think steel was the next best material we have compared to, say, iron armor. Yeah. Where's the core? Yeah, defense 15. It's a it's a damn sight better than iron. And more importantly, it has aqua speed, which will increase our swim speed slightly, which in this pack is a very desirable trait. Yes, 
get rid of that prismarine before the game realizes it's our shenanigans. And let's cook up a whole new batch of steel because I'm going to want steel plates. And if I'm going to make something out of steel, I might as well just, you know, do the pro... Ah, uh, yes, I also wanted to make casts of all the parts. Good, 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 good. Let's do that while I have that fresh in my mind. Stone is just fine for casts. Hell, wood is fine for casts. Leggings. Boots. As well as armor plate. And why not armor trim? Just make casts of everything. And that is probably going to end up in here, isn't it? No. Huh. I guess casts are a little bit smarter than that. Or hoppers are a little bit smarter than that, anyway. Did I put in enough gold for ingots after this? Yes, I put in enough gold. And this is kind of just me being paranoid and being a bit of uh, being a bit greedy, just wanting casts of anything that I make, just so I have it. I should put down a few pieces of tinder. Just to keep the area warmed up, because this freezing rain is getting to me. There we go. And yes, let's keep that armor plate in because I am in fact going to want steel armor plates. Yes, let's just make a nice big batch of it. And finally, for the trim, we want bone. Yep, it might seem like a weird choice, but it's the best we got. Trim doesn't really go directly into protection. It affects your armor's durability, but its real use is for the trait it provides. Because, just like Tinker's Tools, all the materials have different traits, and the skeletal trait increases your armor's toughness by just a little bit. So, a bone trim for each piece. And most of the other traits are uh, not exactly underwhelming, but they're just not what we need. Not if we're going for maximum protection. Which, this is going to be the tank suit. Yep. And now, steel plating provides indomitable, but mostly, most importantly of all, provides a decent amount of durability and durability modifier and a lot of toughness. And Indomitable increases the effectiveness of your armor's protection even further, as a trait. And I think it multiplies together with Skeletal. So Steel Bone Armor really works. I suppose that since they're all the same thing, yeah, they'll stack. And let's just cast the rest out into ingots Nice and automagically. Oh, so lovely. Anyway. Now, I take my core, my armor plate, and my trim. And I need my last armor plate. Forgot to take that out of the bin. And yes, I even get a preview of it over here. So there we go. Oof, so bulky. But yes, aqua speed, swim faster, and I think the armor gets better in uh, in rain and in water. So we'll be more protected most of the time on top of everything else. 
Rough will cause retaliation damage when we're attacked. Indomitable makes my armor more effective. Bones makes the armor even more effective. Yep. And it looks like big old samurai armor. Now, the downside of this, of course, is that we won't be able to wear our scuba tank and our super protective set of armor at the same time. I can wear half of it, have like a nice armored skirt going on, and uh, yeah, notice, notice down here in my armor, this is quite a bit more effective than what we were wearing before. No? Huh. That's less effective? It's defense 22.56. I doubt the Norman leggings. Yeah, that's only... What the heck is going on there? Huh. Well, anyway. Let's just... Let's trust the numbers to say that our armor is in fact better. And we're going to make it even better still. Because since we have a tool forge, we can put modifiers on these things. And the first modifier I want for each piece of armor is diamond. What diamond does is increase durability, but also notice that the defense goes from 22 to 26 and the toughness goes from seven to nine. Yup. Make the armor even more protective. So even just wearing half of our armor set, we've still got a big beefy armor bar that's pretty darn good. And now wearing the full set, yeah, more than maximum armor bar. So the question is, can I make an armor stand to quickly swap? Yeah, I can. It, that's just a carpenter's thing. Stone slab is just real easy. Okay. Let's just take a piece of smooth stone and split it. And then it was just a bunch of sticks, right? And I won't be able to just uh, shift-click to swap, but I should be able to... Um, it, it'll make changing armor slightly easier. It does need a block of redstone, doesn't it? Okay, well, let's just... <laughs> that looks so dorky. Yeah, let's just keep that there as our sort of expeditioning... We're, we're wearing our expedition set. That will be our uh, combat set over there. Now... One thing that I really want for my pants is a belt of storage. Traveler's belt of storage, I should say. So that requires two more chests and a traveler's belt base, which is just three leather and some string real nice and easy. I have exactly enough leather, in fact. Wow. Okay, so that just needs... Let's put some lava on the cooker. And yes, I'm afraid that the uh, sound of clanking is something you're just going to have to get used to now. Because that ain't ever going away. Even when I'm wearing my uh, expedition set instead of my combat set, just the fact that I'm wearing some pieces of Tinker's armor means that clanking will happen. No, you know what? I don't think I want to put this on the on the uh, super set. Let's not put that on the... Let, let's in fact name these so I know what these are. This is... Tank Legs. And Boots. And now let's just make a nice cheap set of armor to act as our as a traveling set. 
Yeah. Wood trim. Plate. And I want leggings. Just trust me on this. I'm I know what I'm doing, honest. Yeah, shitty wooden wooden leggings. And now let's make us some chests. I need more I need more tool rods. Unsurprising. Let's Yeah, thirty two. And then that would mean sixteen of these and a full stack of clay balls. Excellent. And so then I'm going to need more glue. As always, I'm going to need more glue. And that means I'm going to need more refractory clay. <laughs> My apologies. But honestly, this is probably less aggravating than searching down chests. It's just that chests are aggravating to make right now. I could be waiting until the next age to do this, but... Um, no. I want... I want this now. So, let's just fill up all the pots. And once again begin creating some refractory clay. And once again also begin creating some pulp. Yes, I do think I'll only be making one of these belts for right now, even though there's advantages in having more than one of them. But they will just wait until chests are more convenient to make. But I do want one of them at the very dang least. Time to refill this. Aggravating, I know. And also... And now over here... Oh, glue. What a bore you are. What a horrific hog of resources. Why are we forced to love you so? Why are you the gateway? Oh, wonderful, terrible glue. And I should, in fact, have... Wait, why do I have less now? Mm. There. And there we don't quite go yet. Oh goodness. The aggravation is at maximum. It just had to be a special little snowflake batch too. Well, that's just fine. We all know how to deal with snowflakes. We melt them.
There we go. And here we are with all the refractory clay I should be needing as well as a nice stack of lumps. And soon I shall have all the paste in order to make the slightly better paste. I guess while that's running, let's go and get more sugar cane. Ah, the sound of clanking that will soon grow into the background noise we all know and love. But for now, because it is new, it is either it is either interesting sounding or incredibly aggravating. Possibly a bit of both. mow it all down. Good. Glorious. I think that finally our sugarcane production is keeping up with our consumption. At least somewhat. Kind of wish I had the means of some sort of magnet other than the Tinker's Construct tool modifier one. Is there any... No, not really. That all in the uh, in the menu was magnesium, which is uh, I don't think it's even attainable right now, and it's not magnetic in any case. And I don't think it's all that great of a tool. Like, uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's not great armor. Doesn't really make. Yeah, magnesium is just basically something for alloying or for crafting. It's not a tool metal. But regardless of that, we now have a bunch more glue. Always good. And now we can just make eight of those, two of those... 16 of those it might be more it might be time to put more wood in the sawmill and just like that we have ourselves two lovely chests and even a little bit of leftover glue what a beautiful day and traveler's belt of storage lovely so that is a modifier that goes on leggings yeah, see, it even looks a little bit different, including on the model. See over, over here, it has a nice little like champion rustling ship belt. Champion, you know what I mean. Anyway, so what you want to do then is in your controls, go and look for, look for constructs, armor, and accessories, and make sure that you assign a button to the leggings. So now, when I'm wearing my special wooden pants, if I press that button, see my hotbar down there? Dun -dun? Yeah, disappear, reappear, read it. These belts have nine slots of internal inventory that I can summon with a button press. And just like any given inventory, well, let me summon and then, yeah, overweight now, poof, it's gone. And then I just update my inventory to make the, yep. I am capable of now carrying around nine things. Wait, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, my memory serves correctly there. I now have pants that can carry around nine items that are weightless and a tenth in my chisel if I'm really desperate. And isn't that wonderful? 
isn't that just beautiful? I left my tools in my other pants. Yes, I, I think that uh, I think that on the physics level, what's happening is uh, the laws of physics come up to me and they say they're being violated, and they ask me where all my extra mass is gone, and I say I just left it in my other pants. And the excuse is so stupid that they fall for it. I think that's what's happening there. In any case, let's get a batch of hard diamond cooking up. And yes, I, I realize the extent of my derp attempting to count last episode. I think for some reason I got... For, for some reason I started thinking that this was 20 per charcoal instead of 50 or something. I don't know. But in any case, I think this should be even ratio. A stack of charcoal to 16 diamond should make 16 hard carbon nice and even. And let's create one more tool cast as well when the time comes because I want to make a new tool. Surprising right now, I know. Yeah, let's let's just use wood, it's no problem. Let's put this back then. Yes. I'm going to make myself a tinker's hammer. So for that I just need da, 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 da. where is it? Where is hammer? Uh, da, da. There it is, hammerhead. I'm also gonna need a tough tool rod. What else am I gonna need? Hammer. And yeah, plates are already in there. So there. Let's make a tough tool rod cast too. Get more gold. How's this doing? Almost done. Let's get ready for the casting. Yes, the Tinker's Hammer is just like a pickaxe. It has the same effect on stone, except by default it mines a 3x3 three three pattern. And it should have a lot, a lot, a lot more durability. Come on. Come on, Diamond. There we go. And yes, see how it just reduces down into the liquefied coal? And good, that was even, just like I was hoping. So yes, I just... I got confused in my brain meets somehow last episode, and I, I just calculated completely wrong. But that is, in fact, the ratio is four, four charcoal to one diamond. And... That means that a stack of uh, charcoal will do 16 diamonds, nice and even. What do I want to make the tool rod out of? Copper again? Yeah, copper, because I don't want this hammer to be silk touch. I'm going to make this hammer lucky. Tool rod uses three, right? Yeah. Okay, so nice hard hard carbon hammerhead. I'm also going to need two plates. Hmm, what do I want to make the plates out of? More hard carbon, maybe? Eh. What are... Yeah, there's a lot of things called plate. Crude to prickly splintering. Obsidian might be something, because Durate helps out with durability. I want... Okay, so it'll be... At least one plate will be Prismarine. Just to give it Aqua Speed and... Or Aqua Dynamic, yeah. Mm. Pig Iron, maybe... No, just tasty. That would do it. What has the best mining speed that I can do? Hmm. Magnesium. Yeah, 
and that looks like okay so one plate will be prismarine one plate will be hard diamond just for the sake of laziness because I didn't plan this hammer out like I planned out the armor my bad okay so hard carbon hammer head Prismarine uh, Polite. Hard Carbon Plate. Get a porn. And Copper Tough Tool Rod. That sounds like a decent starter hammer. And I think I said I wanted to get the charcoal cycling again, didn't I? Yeah. Beauteous. Little bit of... Uh, charcoal scrabble in the mix there, but that's okay. Honestly, if all the failure would be charcoal flakes instead of ash, I would be pretty happy. Okay, and all the rest we can just turn into ingots to use as repair materials. So happy with that. Alright, so make uh, the hammer. Yep. Now, notice that it's a pretty low mining speed compared to our pickaxe. Yeah, hammers are slower, but they are tough and they are big. Actually, wait, if we swap the plates around, that does nothing. Wait, 3.85? Yeah, that does nothing. Mm, Welp. Hard carbon prismarine hammer. Yep. With that, there's nothing to it but uh, to go into the abyss and mine up some obsidian, I think. Because we're going to need a bit for some of the things that we are going to need for this machine frame, ultimately. Yeah. Each of these obsidian cogs is going to cost some obsidian shards, and that's effectively eight obsidian per so we're gonna need to go and fetch some obsidian from the abyss so I just wanted some tools to help out with that real quick I could also make a bow and some arrows mm, that can wait I think the bow and arrows will wait until I am able to more easily source redstone in any case, let's do a quick run through the abyss, a hopefully quick run. And let's test out all of our new wonderful tools, as well as let's see if uh, putting the aqua dynamic back on our pickaxe helps out at all with this. It very well should. Oh, let's just pick a spot. This looks like a likely one. Is anyway. So yeah, remember how slow this was last time? It goes fast now. Yep. It's very worthwhile to have a level of aqua dynamic somewhere on all of your tools in this pack. So, the hammer. If I first avoid a death of dehydration. I think if I have a have a soft block like this, it should mine out everything around now. Looks like that's a no. Oh, this is aggravating. Okay, let's get down here so I can see. Yep, it's still pretty fast, even with its low on-paper mining speed. I think that's aqua, aqua Dynamic helping us out a little bit. Not that one, that one. I need to disinfect all my torches. 
Yes. When it comes to things you can place down, it's easy to remove infected. You just need to place and pick it up. It's when you have tools that you have no way of uh, doing that for that it becomes a problem. Yep. And we can just go mining right into the wall. And it is fine and lovely. And when we get overloaded, we can switch to our other pants. Oops, wrong button. And then just shove it all right down our pants. And we're back in business. Now I think that when I'm on dry ground, this should be a lot slower. Yeah. A lot, a lot slower. So one thing I can do is I can go and fetch a bucket of water. And I can just keep the aquadynamic mining going. Yep. I think this... Uh, it used to be that uh, tinkers, pickaxes, and hammers, if you right-clicked with them, they would use the next uh, item on your hotbar. So you could have torches next to them and easily make your lighting. Or in cases like this where there's different hardness blocks around, you could very easily fix the situation. But that looks like it's not to be... In any case, let's just get us a nice couple stacks of obsidian going. Still the wrong button. I think that's what my button used to be. Oh, I'm not wearing the pants anyway. Yep, that's probably a good enough amount just for the moment. And yep, with our aqua speed on our armor, we also trudge through pouring water pretty quickly. So uh, wet mining is kind of the is kind of the order of the day. Let's just let's just go home. Yes, making sure that we have water handy for all our mining to uh, take advantage of the traits we put on our armor will help us out immensely. And... just like that, I've got a nice... Uh, I should really make... In increase the tier of that, yeah. Oh well. just kind of toss it over. It's fine if the game will not lag. Always worrying when those lag spikes happen. Makes me think that something is coming up to kill me. So yeah, let's take that. Take a few more of that. And just like that, we should be able to... Is it on here or is it in the blacksmith? It's on here. Yep, we can get these obsidian shards. These are useful for making all sorts of obsidian tools. But what we want them for right now... Oh yeah, we can even make some very nice... If, if we if we didn't want to cart around Tinker's tools for whatever reason, if we were just racist against them, we could now make the top-tier pyrotech tools. Beautiful. So... For our next trick, let's start with the mechanical hopper, because it's easy. And let's, in fact, put some more wood on the sawmill. Just get it going. Let's put the wood pants on, too. 
because now we can harvest the whole field. And yeah, notice that uh, even blocks we don't necessarily want to mine and should mine that quickly because they're not the right type of blocks, but we're in water and aqua speed is a wonderful burden. Yes, Prismarine is a very lovely tool material in this pack. I hardly recommend planning to have one piece of it on any given piece of equipment. And just like that, I can now do this and do this and do all of this. And voila, my FOV is restored. Like magic, I tell you. All right, so first of all, Eh, just one stack is fine in there. Was hoping that I would get out of it before I realized, but oh well. That's hopefully enough. Just to get some more planks in storage. And all the rest of it, yeah, we'll just turn that ultimately into charcoal. Yep. We got a big old collection of it. I'm probably inevitably going to forget to put my pants back on again, which is a problem I have in real life, too. All right. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's pour the wood tar out and see how we're doing on that. Is that... Why you know... Yeah, you're full of wood tar. Drain. That was bizarre. You know what? Maybe instead of that kind of aggravating one at a time pour, should pick up some... Do I still have three seared bricks? Yes, I do. Let's just put a nice full... Oh, wrong one. Let's just put a nice full seared tap on that to... Was it the hammer or was it the... I guess it must be the hammer. Yeah. I should just make a damn hammer for that table. But yes, let's upgrade this tap so that... Uh, we can drain it a bit more quickly. Just like so. And now it will pour until either the table is full or the tank is empty. And in fact, let's do that on our other one as well. There we go. That also means that the uh, pit burner pour out is technically redstone automatable, but why would I? I mean, I suppose it is a luxury pit burner, but it's a luxury pit burner that's going to be used for multiple products over time. At least it will be the next time I run low on coal tar. You fool? Cool. So from here, yeah, there's still more to go. Oops, wrong one. So I'm probably going to want to start uh, making tar bales and start disposing of my wood tar through those.
I think that there's a thing called an igniter that, uh, yeah, it's not even really unattainable. It's just that I would need to track down a block of redstone. And I would need to figure out a means of uh, giving it a redstone can signal more controllably than placing the torch on it, because that's just inconvenient. So yes, that would probably wait until we have actual, you know, buttons to just push the button to light her up. Excellent. We actually have an excess of pulp for once. That is an unusual state of existence for me. Okay. Stop being distracted, me. Let's make the mechanical hopper. So I need some tarred planks. That's why I wanted wood in there. Just two of them, though. No big deal. And also... Three bricks, three one stone rod, and three pulp. Well, I think we have enough pulp. Yes, if you couldn't tell, the mechanical hopper is something we've been able to build for a little while. It's just that I haven't used it because it's cog-powered, as versus these wooden hoppers, which are technically much slower than the mechanical hopper can be, but they're infinite. And I will prefer something that operates fast enough infinitely over something that operates really fast, but only for a little while. I'll only use a mechanical hopper in cases where I really need throughput. Which, nothing I'm building needs that right now. Keep the smeltery nice and clean. Wow, tarring planks takes a while. Yeah, get some tar bales ready to go in next. Soon as that's done. I suppose I can start working on the next quest. So, we're also going to need a saw blade. Which, do we have any? Yeah, we do. And let's just smooth all these out. There we go. Nice, lovely bunch of dust of diorite. There, that's fine. And just like that. Why not? Let's. Smash this the lazy way. Did I not put more clay on? Or have I spent it already? Beautiful. We have another one. Ah, good. Our planks are tarred. And yes, that took a very tiny amount of wood tar. So we'll just use those straw barrels to soak it all up. Straw barrels are the ways to dispose of it quickly. But there we are. Mechanical hopper. Next up, flint. Next up would be bone. I don't think there's an easy way to make those into shards, is there? There is. Why not? We're gonna need to make uh, this craft a uh, this crafting recipe quite a few times. Honestly, I probably should have kept the flint shards. Where did the hammer go? Oh, derp. Really wish. That hammer would just stay in its place. Oh, I had tons of these. Next, I believe it's this and this. Yep. 
next guild. Is there a way to get a ton of gold shards? Yep. Oh, and I only need four of them. Gold, diamond. Really should check the recipe before I just assume. And finally, finally we go all the way up to Obsidian. Now, remember, the sawmill blade, yeah, a little bit more durability on at least the sawmill blade, but I think the cog, it's actually a downgrade. So, cog has to start with a wooden cog, so that just needs some compressed sticks, some regular sticks. And a piece of wood. Yeah. So this actually starts at a lower tier. But note that it has... It can only move a single stack one item at a time and then it breaks. Don't use wooden cogs. They are bad. Let's just get rid of these sticks. So next it's going to need four stone rods. Equivalent of one of these bricks. That's steel. Equivalent to one of these bricks. And four of any type of pebble. It used to, I think it used to be that these required specifically diorite. But no longer. And from there it should be a very familiar crafting chain. Up the tiers. Oh, no, it's straight up eight shards on this one, instead of the mix that the sawmill blade was. Interesting. Yeah, that's just four at a time, as it seems to be in the case of most metals. I think I want to keep the taps on the... Uh, on the crucible, on that particular crucible, just one at a time. I guess these must be infected with something. Just to keep it a bit more controllable. Good. See how much faster we can get through the pile of wood chips now? Beautiful. In any case, yeah, that's probably just going to be eight of these. Eight of these. Just go straight up the tiers. And there's our quest. But yes, the cog. If these things will get out of my way. Yeah, the diamond thing... Moves a total of 16,400-ish items, and it moves it a stack at a time. Which is quite a lot. It, it'll last you. It'll last a whole lot. I, I think that's technically 16,384 operations, not items. So, it can move up to 16,384 stacks, or if there's just one thing at a time coming in, it'll move that. Yeah, But yes, the obsidian is a straight-up downgrade in this case. Only times 32, 2,000-ish less durability, less mechanical compactor and mulcher um, efficiency. Bizarre. I mean, sure, I could see, I could see a diamond tool being more fit to purpose than an obsidian one, but then why would you have it higher up on the upgrade list? 
In any case, with all those quests complete, we now have nothing to do except for go up to the machine frame, which is going to require a lot of these obsidian cogs, uh, eight of them in total. It's going to require this mechanical hopper. It's going to require lots of blocks of iron, so it's good that we looted that ship. And it's going to require these nano machine frames, which are complicated in and of themselves, requiring eight more cogs of varying levels, this obsidian sawmill blade, and some blocks of pig iron along with some more ingots. So yes, we have a bit of work in our smeltery to do. Let's just keep these doors as doors. Aye, and crafting all those cogs is a pain. It is definitely a pain. We definitely want to... Uh, we definitely want to minimize the amount of times we need to use machine frames for anything. At least until, hopefully, they eventually become cheaper. Hopefully. I don't know if they do. I know that every time I've had to craft a machine frame, like in my previous playthrough of this pack, the one I didn't record, it was, it was a sad, sad day because... I did not yet have a cheaper recipe if one exists. Well, nothing to it but to do it. So, let's start with the pig iron. Four blocks of iron, that's going to require 36. I have just enough. Just enough rotten flesh. And that's also going to require 18 clay, I do believe. Let's melt the clay and rotten flesh first. Just so that uh, we'll right away see if we miscalculated anything. Oh, bucket of blood in there. Can we get a bucket of blood? Yes, we can. <laughs> bucket of blood! Lovely. And let's just let everything melt down. And that should hopefully be four blocks of pig iron that we eventually find in there. And I'm probably going to have to think of a better source for blood, just in case I need to make more machine frames. We could... I, I don't think I want to make a mob farm, because when we reach the next age, we're going to get some monsters that are really, really nasty. And I don't want them to exist at all, if possible. In fact, while that's melting down... Yeah, I'm sorry. It's time for more torching. Simply to try and I, I'm going to do a piecemeal I'm going to do it bit by bit over like I imagine it's going to take an episode or two to uh, to get the machine frames and the engineering station built well it might not but yeah I, I've determined that um, from my position on my base Because the actual mob spawning range, rather than what JEI was showing me, it's uh, 120 blocks, not the 70 odd blocks that... But yeah, I've determined that I need to spread torches roughly down to the line of the farm. And way over here. How far out does the island go? Yeah, so I don't quite need to cover the whole island down to the farm, but it's close enough as it makes no difference, really. That's unfortunate, I know. But I'm, I'm going to try and space it out so that... Ah, there we are, four blocks of pig iron. Let's just leave that on the poor. And let's go and start placing torches.
Hi, spider bro. Bye, spider bro. Yeah, these... The millionaire buildings are, uh, their internal lighting is a bit of a problem. Some cactus, you say? I don't know if there's any other way I can receive plain old cactus. I know that there's these saguaro cactuses that you can get out of tree seeds. That may be interesting. Very interesting. Right, back to it. I think I just had a bit of a brainwave. So, you remember how I said that uh, a Tinker's Contract Smeltery will generate blood if you dump a monster inside of it? And you know how these NPCs permanently just keep resurrecting themselves over and over again? Exactly where they were standing before? 
Oh, that's a terrifying idea. I like it. Let's, uh, let's put on our special pants and let's queue up some seared stone and let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can maybe get a permanent blood supply. Yeah. These are the kind of things that my brain goes to when I'm doing a big boring project like this. It just scrabbles desperately for anything else I could be doing. But, uh, anyway. I think, yeah, I think the B key that I'm pressing used to be what it was in the last playthrough, and that's still in my muscle memory somehow. light that up. In any case, yes, I should do F7 fly-throughs of my base every once in a while just to make sure I haven't got any new dark spots. But yes, let's just get some seared stone going. Yeah. And let's, uh, let's see what we see about that. Yeah, that's on the right one. In any case, I'll probably be uh, building up supplies of that smelter between more cuts. I'll, I'll come back when I have all the supplies together. Okay, I think I might just have it. 
I think. Let's start running a test, and I will, of course, suit up into full armor. Why won't this stay lit? Yep. I think that if I put a redstone signal on that, I would be able to switch armors just by shift-clicking. But let's just, uh... Yep. Uh, if you didn't see it in the time lapse, if I fast forwarded through it, yes, I have, um, I processed that entire stack of cobble. I turned half of it into, well, I turned a portion of it into two stacks of seared bricks and a portion of it into a bunch of seared stone. I guess that while, while we're testing this thing, while we're seeing if we can survive a night, then I will start working on another smeltery. Just to... I'll probably be testing that idea I had out tomorrow, or next episode, or whatever you want to call it. But, um... Hmm. I don't see any obvious dark spots. Whew. Yeah. This is, uh... This is quite a project. The land is speckled and bright. Now the problem is, since since anything that would be close enough to be seen on journey map ain't gonna be spawning if there is a dark spot and an enderman spawns i won't know until he tries to assassinate me but hopefully hopefully in this i can take a hit and i can just jump into the water or even try and fight him if i'm feeling suicidal but yes 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 okay so i need to make a melt yeah i need to make a melter Okay, I need to clean up my inventory for that. Because that's going to take some doing. Let's just keep these up in here for the moment. No, I shouldn't venture out of the base while it's nighttime. Because if I do venture out of the base, then it might start spawning things. I wonder, if I do just give that a redstone torch, will that swap the entire armor set, or will that just swap the single piece of it? Let's try. Let us give it a go. Where's... Ah, there that stick went. Yeah, just put a redstone torch on it just to give it signal. No. I could have sworn that if an armor stand had redstone signal, maybe it needs to be sitting on a redstone block and not just signal. Well, we can put this into storage anyway, just to have it. So far, so good. This might just be it. We might just be at 24-7 work periods now. And isn't that a wonderful, wonderful thing to know? That you'll be working forever. No more breaks. No more of this wretched, wretched sleep thing. Pfft, disgusting. We've transcended past that into new realms of true beauty. Yeah, let's just compact these. And 
yes, I very much need to keep my charcoal stock. Because while I'm relatively keeping pace, I have, uh, I have seen it dip. And yes, after the after the day breaks, I'll have to run around and see if there's any burning mobs, any mob drops. Because that'll be the surest sign that something was going wrong, if anything is going wrong. But no, if this is... If this is what I think it is, then yeah. We'll be ready. In any case, yes, 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 I need to concentrate. I need to make... I need to make more than that, don't I? In order to make another melter. In order to make another smelter. Yeah, I need to make four of those. Actually, let's just, yeah. Oh, no, that's not the right one. There we go. That's the trick. And then from there, I'm going to need a lot more stone. Mm. Problems. Because I can't venture out to buy more from the Normans until daytime. And while normally I would sleep, that would ruin the experiment. Okay, so... I'm gonna need 28 in total, I think. So that's 25, 26... 27, 28, oh boy. And on top of that, I'm gonna need four more. <laughs> I have exactly enough bricks, oh boy. But I don't have enough refractory bricks. Which is again, a familiar refrain. That's just one of those things that uh, you take it as a red fact of reality that I do not have enough refractory bricks. Oh, that's right, we have a wonderful excess of resources in here. I should just make the damn spare hammer already. At this point, shuffling around is being done more out of spite than anything. Holy crap, we're making it to dawn. This might just be it. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, let's refill that. That is why I have pumpkins and not torches. So that's a nice big stack of refractory balls. That will turn into some nice juicy stacks of bricks 
all the way up to bricks for the first time in a while. How's that doing? That's doing fine. Oh, but you know what? Yep, that's a successful test complete. And oh shoot, I need to go run and see if there's any any obvious dark spots, any obvious... Uh... Shoot, is it already despawned by now? Okay, if it would be anywhere, it would be down on the border. But let's just... Uh... Let's just book it. Yes, yeah, so it would be on the border or it would be somewhere in a millionaire building would be the trouble spots because those millionaire buildings were trouble depending on how fast my uh, how fast my fast forwarding was you might have noticed I had to constantly be climbing up on roofs I had to be searching inside of them it was a nightmare getting the village lit <laughs> okay so our border is obviously far enough all right. Let me in there so I can get my drink on. I am not seeing any mob drops anywhere. Oh, I did miss a dark... I don't have any torches on me. Shoot. Uh, we can steal that one, right? Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. Yes, and this is a problem, too. They Every time they reconstruct buildings, it seems that they knock up a few torches, so I need to fix that. I need to fix that real quick. Because they just had to go and upgrade the quarries now. Ah, but still, this is wonderful news that we can pass the night in relative safety and um, just let time flow around us. I think I mentioned it before, but it's important to let nights pass naturally because that is the only way millionaire villagers will grow older. Um, the children in particular need to grow up. They need, they need a good night's sleep. Let's just get eight of these. Yes. Stack up my torches, get myself a nice supply again. Let's just get rid of these bricks before I inevitably catch a disease of some sort from some source. But yeah, other than other than the villagers ripping up torches when they upgrade buildings, I think I've got this covered. I think we might just be good. And I'll keep on saying that up until the point I get ganked by an Enderman out of nowhere again. And probably die twice from it and have to end the run. Before I get another life. Because that's just how things go. It wasn't that one. They have so many quarries. Where is it? I, I saw that there was a dead spot in here. Did I accidentally hit F7? I don't think so. Yeah, there it is. That's another thing. When they dig the quarries down deeper, they forget to put new torches down. These millionaire buildings are a little bit derp. For the most part, they do a good job of lighting it, but most is not all. And it is a pain scouring the entire village for every single missing torch spot. But it is a pain I went through. And it appears to have paid off. 
All right, well. I think I'm done for the night. Yeah, <clears throat> I am done. The Great Enlightenment is finally finished. I am just going to have to edit an episode of JBTA for once because, yeah, once I made the decision that this was going to be a time lapse, I just shut up. I had nothing to say. And it was essentially an hour and a half of me running around placing torches in dead silence, and you don't want to watch that. I wouldn't want to watch that. So, I will see you next time with hopefully something more exciting, including that devilish idea I had to get myself tons of blood. That is something that I think I will have to try. I'm not even going to do a test build in survival mode, in, in creative mode. I am going to try that right here. We'll be doing some science live next time, and hopefully also with